Delaware Mobile Surf Fishermen are having a meet and greet here on Conquest Beach, and in attendance is one of its original members, Harry Aiken from Georgetown, Delaware, and he's got quite the story. My father was a surf caster, and he started me casting when I was four, okay? Worked up from there. Used to have two clubs at the time, Ridgeville Sportsman's Club and Rehoboth's Club, and we had tournaments on the beach. And uh, at 12 years old, I beat everybody that was in both clubs. Just, it just happened because I was, I was better than other people and they always wanted to beat me. And uh, we would have, the, the inlet used to be narrower out here and they would, they would be, my father would bet somebody that I could cast across the inlet. And uh, of course they say no and uh, I did it. So, and it was just, I always was beating any competition against somebody. And uh, when I got involved with the tournaments was in the, in the, in the 60s, I started traveling up and down the coast and, uh, and becoming champions. My long, uh, longest cast was about 680, but I averaged one, uh, a tournament, one tournament, I averaged 605 for five casts. And with different, completely different tackle than what we have today. We were, we, were late, we were limited to 10 and a half foot rods and different, and no, no special reels had to be fishing reels. I started casting those tournaments in 65 and set a record the, first, the second tournament I was in. I set the first the record when I started was only 94 points out of 100. First tournament I shot was a 95 and right on, right on up till I got 299s which is one point shy of a perfect score. Then one day over to uh, New Jersey I shot a perfect score. Wow, that's awesome. And, and it, too, I'm more proud of that than the baseball thing, but every time I get interviewed or anything, it's, aren't you the man? He's the guy who once cast a ball clear out of Yankee Stadium, and he's got the pictures this, to prove it. The, this is a picture of Yankee Stadium facade up here. This is, yeah, this is the baseball field. This is me, and there is the ball leaving Yankee Stadium. When I was world champion accuracy caster, which was tournament, other tournaments run up and down the beach, and I was working, I was hired by Abu Garcia to go to uh, Yankee Stadium, and they had a game called cast a ball, which they put a regulation baseball on a fishing rod and, and put four, three bases on the, on the bases made right out of plywood. Then I would go up and teach ball players how to cast. Then I would be the cleanup hitter for, for, the, for, for the team. And uh, I talked to Mr. T at that time, Mr. Topping owned the Yankees. And we went up there and he said, I would love to, I know you can throw one into the stands. I would love to see one leave the ballpark. So he gave me a bunch of balls and I went up to the football fields at home and, and practiced throwing and trying to get them that far. At 81, Harry is still active with the mobile surf fishermen. I'm a, I'm a director of the DMS and I'm one of the early members. My number is 148 and I'm proud of it. And the club is now, we, if it wasn't for the club, I record just to say that there wouldn't be anybody out here on the beach with a beach buggy, with a truck. Because this is our greatest piece of property that we'll ever own right here, this be these beaches. This is a, uh, an estuary we have to keep like it is. And, and we try to do that. They not only try, they succeed. Delaware's beaches have consistently been rated among the greatest in the country. So here's to the men and women of the Delaware Mobile Surf Fishermen when it comes to the world of surf casting, they continue to go the distance.